My name is Julie and welcome to Career Steps. Today we're going to talk about medical records technicians. Medical records technicians are like the librarians of the healthcare system. They have to understand both paper and electronic record keeping, filing, and classification systems in order to keep countless patient files in order. While medical records technicians don't provide patient care directly, they do help nurses and others to keep on top of patient records, helping to compare old notes, medical histories, prescriptions, and other essential records to provide consistent care. A post-secondary certificate is usually enough to become a medical records technician. There are also specialized medical records technician programs where you can get an associate's degree or professional certification. Your courses are going to ask a lot of you, especially because often you'll be getting professional experience at the same time. Courses in medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, and coding systems are all an important part of the curriculum. You will also have to learn about the financial and technical side of the healthcare profession. If you took math, computer science, or biology in classes, now might be the time to look back through your notes because those will help you in your coursework. In your daily role as a medical records technician, you'll be making sure that all the confidential records of patients are kept in order. You'll also be working to convert those records from paper to digital as more and more hospitals switch to electronic health records. Most medical records technicians work full-time in hospitals or physician's offices. Because hospitals and clinics are often open 24 hours a day, you may be asked to work nights or weekends. Your day-to-day -day duties will vary by facility and specialty. Depending on how large an office or hospital you want to work in, your job description may vary. For example, you may choose to specialize in medical coding or as a cancer registrar. No matter where you work, you will need to be detail-oriented and possess strong analytical and technical skills. It also helps to have good people skills as you will need to communicate with a variety of other health professionals. Most employers will expect you to have some type of certification before beginning work as a medical records technician. Options include the Registered Health Information Technician and Certified Tumor Registrar Certificates. If you're interested in coding, you usually have to have prior experience in this area. You will also have to get recertified or take continuing education courses every few years. As an entry-level position, a medical records technician job will expose you to lots of different options in the healthcare industry. Once you get a feel for what kind of work you enjoy doing, you might decide to go back to school to earn a bachelor's or even a master's degree to work as a medical services manager. You may even decide to become a nurse. The passing of the Affordable Care Act means that more people will be insured in the future. Combine that with an aging population, and this means more people will be visiting hospitals, doctor's offices, and clinics, and everyone will have a record. Medical records technicians earned a median salary of $34,000 in 2012 and are in increasing demand. Experts project employment to grow by 22% by 2022. Technicians are also going to be needed as hospitals continue to switch to electronic health records. With a certification and post-secondary or associate's level education, you can expect strong job prospects. Your resume will look even more promising if you can demonstrate strong technical skills as well. Now that you know what it means to be a medical records technician and the skills necessary to work in this field, you're ready to take the next step. Career Steps makes it simple to learn, find, and apply to college that will get you started in the medical field. Good luck on taking this next step towards your success. Mm -hmm.